freaking country mile calves with this freaking <laughs> this spinning setup. I think it's eight pound, eight pound, or fifteen pound to eight pound liter. Oh, so this is fifteen pound. Uh, hmm, interesting. I thought it was eight pound, but it's actually fifteen pound. I think I had twelve pound on that six eighty three. I don't know if that's a fish or not. I think that is a fish. Yes. Yes, finally. Finally. There we go. There we go. Come on, little guy. I can feel you pulling. Come on, little guy. Come on. Man, he is fighting, too. Oh, it's a freaking chain pickerel. Bunch of stuff's going on now let's get this party started so today well first of all welcome back to tim is outdoors this is supposed to be what's on the wall wednesday uh but man i'll tell you what it's just been whew, i never know when i'm gonna get a video out but thanks for riding with a brother uh, we're gonna do as best we can to uh get as many videos out as we can over the winter because everything around here is just man look it's just too cold to fish um, what's new is I don't have my neck brace on. So, uh, thanks for all your prayers, all your kind wishes. Uh, I'm getting over my surgery. So, I mean, I'm not out of the wood, out of the woods yet. I still have a bunch of recovery to do. So we're going to continue on and do, do what I can to make sure I'm doing the right thing, uh, by my body and make sure that I'm, um, I'm recovering the right way. Not trying to rush the process, just trying to uh, build my body up to where I can do the things that I that I love to do. So today, man, uh, another long video. Uh, I've been doing a lot of unboxing, but I've not really showed you. Well, I can't really say that. I have showed you what my tackle wall looks like outside in the garage, but I'm getting to a place now to where a tackle wall is what my tackle wall is. I need to be able to prepare to grab a bag and go uh, fishing in different types of scenarios. So enter a few things i got a box from uh the six of course i'm always gonna have a box from the six and i have a box from busby we're gonna crack open all of these and see what i got we're gonna talk a little bit about what i bought why i bought it we're not necessarily gonna put it together we may throw a couple baits in here and there but really it's just the unboxing to show you what it is i'll come back with another video about tackle organization on how i organize my tackle bags for say if i so happen to get a john boat or something like that but that's what i'm that's what we're gonna do today so let's get into it guys uh man let me move some stuff out of the way uh i am drink sipping sipping uh murray hill club uh this is a joseph magnus whiskey uh man i'm just trying to i'm just I'm just all over the place today. Well, we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it tight. We're gonna get it right. All right, let's do this. Man, I'm always apprehensive. You know what I mean? You wanna make sure you're not cutting into something that's in the bag. I don't really know what's in here, but I wanna make sure I don't cut into it. I know I got some some six coffins or whatever you call them. To, we'll figure it out when we open it up. But one second, I have to do one thing. Un momento. Whew, oh man, that's good. A little bit hot. It's only like 100 proof, but it drinks a little bit hotter than that. Oh, check it out. Got a, a Sensit sticker from the six, so really appreciate that, guys. Let's keep on cracking this thing open. My little SOG uh, uh, unboxing knife. I think this thing went down range with me, actually. So it's so funny to, to see me still using it after all these years. All right, so let's go. All right. Just gonna try to throw stuff out of the way. I did buy a few baits, so this is a completely different sack. It's like a it's like a burlap sack instead of my Crown Royal bags. I'm trying not to take that personal, but but I, but I do like that. I'm gonna set this aside, and then and then out's gonna come all of this stuff. So going back to how I buy things, I never buy things well. I won't say never. I do buy things full price, 
but it's rare. I typically take some time, take advantage of these um, Black Friday sales and get all of my stuff that way. So I got six bait chambers. It was buy, I think it was buy two, get one free. So I bought two and got one free. So let's talk about which ones I do have. These are a little bit, I guess it's about 3,500 series size, but bait chamber for jigs. We're, we're gonna open each one of these up so you can see what's inside of them. Uh, bait chamber for top water. You know, I gotta have a top water bait chamber. Bait chamber for jerk baits. You know I had to have a, a jerk bait one. My favorite bait. Comment in the description. What's your favorite bait that you like to fish with? Mine has got to be uh, jerk bait, but I do like crank baits. I do have special, uh, specific crank baits that I like better than others. But my all-time favorite bait, it's got to be either a walking bait or a jerk bait. Lipless crank bait. I'm starting to become a fan of the lipless. Uh, shallow crank baits and another shallow crankbait because I have quite a bit of shallow crankbait. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. We're just gonna see what I bought that came in this sack and maybe we'll stick it in one of these to see how it actually fits. What I will try to do is I will try to grab grab some baits to, to fit one in each chamber so you'll see how that fit and finish looks. So, all right, what did I get this time? Wow, I got a mat. Cloud 20, Jesus, that's a massive bait. Uh, but I went with the red here. So I got a Cloud 9 uh, uh, C6 and Cloud 9 uh, C10. Uh, I, I, you know, I wanted to go with the Chrism Crawl because I wanted to fish some, some, some colder waters. I think I get more bites on that reddish crawfish looking color in the fall. But who knows, man, you could probably fish it year round. But that's why I bought these. So shallow crankbait, bait chamber. I don't know if one of these is shallow because it's four to eight feet. More of a medium. Let's see, shallow, shallow. Let's see if I have a, a larger one. Jerk bait, jerk bait, uh, top water bait. This should be a large. No, I, I honestly did not get a large crankbait chamber. I wonder why I didn't do that. I mean, I don't have many large. That's probably why. I don't have many large uh, crankbaits. So that's probably why I didn't do it. Um, but no worries. We're gonna try. Some of these shallows. Take a look at the take a look at that foam and how those are put together. It did a good job. It did a good job. They are man. These are are, are lightweight, much much like you expected. I want to see if I can get. No, nah, these are all shallow. So let's grab a shallow crankbait. Matter of fact, we're gonna grab a couple of baits and we're gonna see how they fit in each one of these chambers. All right. So here's a shallow, but it's a medium size. We'll try that one. Let's do a Crush 50X. Definitely, definitely we'll get that Crush 50X in there. All right, let's see if I can get this thing inside. Get this thing from inside, rather. Get this thing open. Let's see what's up. All right, so we got a uh, Crush 50X. Let's see if we can get that thing in there. We're just going to grab one. Wow, that actually fits really, really nice. So we got a Crush 50X in there. It's the Crush 100X. I don't think the Crush 100X is going to fit. But we're going to try it anyway. Heck no, this thing here looks freaking massive. No, well, you could shove it in there, but I don't think I need to uh, because I got something else for this bait right here. So what I think I'm going to do is look and see if I have another bait of a different brand that's shallow that I can stick in. Lucky Craft. You guys know, first of all, you guys, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know my two favorite bait makers. One is Lucky Craft. The other one is Six. The Six. You know, you know that to be true. So, um, I will say this though. I did buy another brand. Everybody has this brand. Everybody talks about it. It's super expensive. It's hyper expensive. So, I did buy some baits at another uh, Black Friday sale, and that'll probably be the next video. I won't tell you too much, but this is a Lucky Craft um, uh, Fat CB BDS one in crack black. I'm gonna put it right above it. Oh wow, it just I it fits in here, but it slips right out. So let me show you how that looks. 
That's how those look. I think I can shake. Maybe I was wrong. I guess if you shake it hard enough, it'll come out so, but the six bait fits perfectly fine. Um, we'll just put this, we'll just leave that at the bottom and put the six uh, at the top. Cause I will have other baits in here. Not a lot, but I will have other baits in here. So that is the bait chamber for shallow crankbaits. Let's go to the next bait chamber and grab a bait that's gonna fit. This is lipless. Lipless bait chamber. Should be easy to find a lipless around here. Let's see how the lipless looks. Now, Six Sigma has a, oh, I keep saying Six Sigma, but Six and Fishing has a couple of size of these lipless. I'm gonna see if I can find both. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. So that's a Quake 70. There we go, perfect. So now I have a, we'll do a Quake, we'll do a Quake 80 and a Quake 70. Let's see how those two puppies fit. This is a, that's a massive lipless crankbait. I love it. Man, and it is flipping loud. So likewise, we're gonna go up top. Let's see how this is supposed to fit. You're gonna have to, we're gonna have to shove this, shove this puppy in here uh, quite a bit to get it in there. Ouch, it sucks, ouch. Good Lord, stop sticking me. Ouch. So that one fits. We got the Quake 70 in, the Quake 80 in there, but I had to shove it really hard to get it in there. Uh, definitely uh, did not fit as smooth as the shallow tank bait one fit, but that's okay. So let's try this guy. Put the hooks in first. I don't know how that's gonna work because I have to pull them out and make it stuck. Stuck on some of the, the foam. Okay, all right. So uh, they both fit. So there you have it, guys. The lipless crank bait chamber, the 70s uh, and the 80s are in there. Of course, we gotta try a different brand. So let's go back to Lucky Craft. All right, we got a Lucky Craft. I think it's the LV200. No, this is LV RTO 150. Let's try to take a look at that puppy. Now this looks a little bit small. I guess I could have pulled out of like an LV 500, but um, but oh wow, this fits really, really nicely into that. A uh, little loose, a little loose, but it but it does fit. Let's see if it'll come out. It came right out. <laughs> so that's an LV. 150 and, be, and because we're, we're talking I don't I mean it's gonna be closed up I mean it's not it's not going anywhere but it's it'd be nice to know that it won't slide out I guess I can articulate the hook a different way to see if it won't fall out but let's try if I can find like an LV 500 to see if it, it slides out can't believe out of all these baits a bunch of jerk baits let's see what we have nope that's a flat crank aha LV 500 max you guys thought i was slipping didn't you but this lv 500 let's see how that fits and that fits dude that fits much 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 better much better but let me tell you doesn't that look good guys that looks absolutely amazing all right so that is the six cents fishing lipless crankbait chamber man that is that is that is awesome i love that all right what's what's next we have a jerk bait my favorite baits so let's go ahead with the jerk bait chamber let's see how they fit you guys are like man how many how many baits does this guy have dude it's gonna take me a while to find a a, a six cents jerk bait and that's bad i know but i do have a lucky craft jerk bait Let's try the Lucky Craft Jerk Bait while we're at it. Let's see if I can find a six. One from the six. I do know I have one in one of these other boxes. The bottom line is we know they fit. But while I'm here, I just want to see if the, uh, we know the uh, uh, six cents fishing was fit. Really, I just need to check the, the Lucky Craft. If I open one of these and I do find a crankbait, I mean a jerk bait, I will slide it in there for you. And I like these because they have the triple chambers, one, two, three, full of hooks. Some, some jerk baits have singular, I'm sorry, 
dual hooks, one in the middle, one in the back. This one here has three. So that's, that's amazing. What I will try to do, since I brought it up, it's my fault, since I brought it up, this is my workbench here, that's why I have all this trash. Since I brought it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find uh, one that has just two hooks. All right, here we go. This is a, so here's a real test. This is a much smaller one. This is a Pointer SP, I think it's a 78. Yep, Pointer 78 SP. So I'm gonna see if a smaller jerk baits will fit. I don't think the six has jerk baits this small. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think they have jerk baits this small. They have full size jerk baits. So I'm gonna see if this fits in half. Holy cow, it actually sits. It actually sits in. Wow, guys. I don't know if they thought of that. I don't know if they designed it to be that way. Well, it will fit a 78, but man, that, that is pretty freaking smooth. It fits the full size jerk baits, one, two, three hooks, and then the kind of mid size or medium size is small. So think of uh, Mega Bass. If you had Mega Bass, you wanted to leverage them for this case, that would be great too. So we'll come back to this if when I open one of these boxes, uh, a, a, a six cents fishing jerk bait pops out. I know I have several around here. I just don't know where they are outside of on my tackle wall. All right, so so we've gone through the shallow crank baits, we've gone through the lipless crank baits, we've gone through the jerk baits. Now we're gonna go to top water, and I'm 100% positive. Maybe not 100% positive. Ha ha! See man, stick with me. I'm taking your place. I am taking your place. See, I have a lot of baits that I have to go through. I'm just saying, I know good and well that I had some of these out for a specific reason. Um, this wasn't the reason, but I do remember having top what I wanted to compare. Uh, Mega Bass, Mega Bass, so you know it's coming, um, with Lucky Crab as well as the six. So this is a um, 80, a G Splash 80. So this is G Splash 80 millimeter. Man, I like this. Wow, that sounds pretty freaking nice. Let's put it in here, see how that thing looks and feels. Similar situation. These are a little bit, the chambers are a little bit big for that guy. But if you put in like, you know, a six catwalk and stuff like that, it's, it's going to be the perfect size. So, again, we'll come back to these boxes later if we have time. Um, but I did want to just open these up, show you guys this and then go right to the Busby. We won't put things in the Busby, I just wanted to show you what the Busby looked like. So we're gonna go to our last bait chamber. And this is Jig, ha, I was smart. I have a Jig out already. All right, let's do this. I have no clue how this is gonna look or how this is gonna work, but I do have a Jig right here. Six inch, this is a swim Jig, uh, three eighth ounce. Uh, looks like they just go Either down or what do you think? Straight up like this? Uh, straight up like this. Wow. Look at that. Uh, that's that's pretty dope. I think that's how it goes. I can try it the other way. Uh, I guess you could put it the other way because you can see the skirt a little bit a little bit better that way. What I what what I am seeing right now is. Oh yeah, I definitely don't like that, but I guess that makes it easier. You can grab this, move this out, and then start articulating things the way you want it. Um, but didn't expect that to come out, but it does. Don't know if that's a feature or that's just the way these were made. It's probably gonna come out, you know, like it is. They'll come out with these, then they'll come out with a new and improved bait chamber probably next year. I don't work for the six. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but that's what typically happens. You wanna iterate on these, and Six is a pretty innovative company. Uh, they do stuff like that all the time, coming out with the new hotness. All right, so that was the stuff from the Six. I wanna show you a couple other things. I do not have a spinnerbait available to show you how it will fit, but I bought these super cheap. Um, just an idea that I had. I'm gonna try, and if I like it, I'm gonna rock with it. Um, but these are pencil binders. I bought like six for like $20 or something like that from Amazon. But look at this, like pencil binder. So basically, unzip it, put a bunch of spinner baits in there. You can see what it looks like. 
Uh, it even has the D ring. You can put, just put a put a D ring here, and if you got like six or seven, they crush down pretty flat. So if you want to save money and you want to be able to to organize your tackle a little bit better on the budget, I do have a Busby that's coming up. But if you want to do it on a budget, you can buy some of these from Amazon and put your small uh, spinner baits in, small to large spinner baits in, and organize it that way. So I'm going to move this out of the way as well. Take a sip and move on over to the Busby. Hmm. All right, so let's see what we have. Boom, bada boom, bada bang. We have the Colony 8T Thin, Thin Tackle Box. That's what this is. I bought this for Terminal Tackle, right? Um, so if I'm on a kite, wow, this is really nice. <laughs> you know, you, you watch YouTube videos all the time. You know, I didn't see this in the store, but I, I you know, I see the people cracking them open and looking at them. Man, that's pretty solid. I mean, that is some sturdy crap right there, buddy. That is freaking sweet. So the Colony 8T, which I specifically bought uh, for my terminal tackle. What else do I have in here? The Fast Flat Half Flange Zip. So you can either buy these for... I don't even know how much I paid for it, but it was like on Black Friday sale. So you guys are going to have to have to uh, roast me later on it. But man, this thing is flipping sweet. I know it was like $30 or at least 20 something dollars, but you can put your freaking jigs in here or you can put your, your spinner baits in here or you can buy, you know, go on the cheap route and buy this. This is not whether it will, this will, this will sink. This more than likely will float. Oh man, this is really nice. I really like this half flat, half uh, flat, fast flat, fast flat, half large zip bag. Dude, Busby, really? You guys, man, I really like this product. Pretty sturdy. Next up, we're gonna do the uh, Quick Cube Medium. You probably already know what I'm gonna use this for soft plastics absolutely so i'm gonna get soft plastics uh, and fill this thing up with soft plastics wow this is really nice again this is a floater it will float and i don't know how many soft plastics i'll be able to get into this i may make it make it into a crappie crappie you know uh, crappie box or whatever the case may be but we'll see so this is the quick cube medium uh, that i specifically bought for my soft plastics also got some pull tabs Right, so if you're in a boat uh, and you have this, you grab one of these pull tabs, loop it in, and then you pull it up. You guys are gonna make me, you're gonna make me do it, aren't you? You're looking at me like, Tim, what the heck are you talking about, dude? Just show us, show us what you bought, man. Okay, okay, okay. All right, put this on here like, like so. Close it down, and if this is inside of your boat, inside of a compartment, you can reach down and pull that up. So that's why I bought these. What are these called? These are called pull tab and hitch points. So that's why I have these. I bought two packs of six of those so I can color coordinate. I think that is it. Oh my gosh, that's a little bit heavier than I thought it was gonna be because I have all the tackle boxes in there. That is a solid box busby swarm 28 tackle organization all right this video is super long i hope you guys are rocking with me if you hadn't done so please go ahead and click that like button subscribe i'm spending a lot of money to make you guys happy uh actually i had to spend it anyway because i had to have to organize my tackle if i'm going to do things this summer the way i want to do it so let's take a look at what's inside of this bad boy this is almost like my uh what do you guys call them uh shoot the yeti bags yeah man really really nice weatherproof waterproof let's see what we have in here we got the modular all these are modular what am i talking about same deal man these things are freaking hefty super super nice look at this the pool tab on this one is actually on the top so i guess that would make sense because you could also pull it out okay 
getting back to it. Uh, sorry about that. The camera completely overheated. So yeah, that's how you know your video is uh is super is super long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to march on what we were talking about. We we're just demonstrating, um, you know, really not demonstrating at all, but showing you just how sturdy this box is, how it looks, how it feels in my hand. And I'm like, man, they really did, they really did build a product that really feels and looks worth the price that you spend on them, right? So it's not the, it's not the most, uh, um, uh, I'll say, I'll say, I wouldn't call it economically. I, I think I think it is economically efficient to buy these based on what you're using them for, based on what I'm using them for. Absolutely. Oh yeah, look, forgot. It does the whole stack thing. I do like that. So looking looking at these boxes, they look all the same. These calling 28s, yep. They are exactly the same. I like it. I'm just gonna continue to motor on through since we're since we're, we're moving at a good clip right now. Oh look at that. Almost forgot about that. It actually comes with a carry strap. So that's actually pretty good. This everything that I've touched, everything that I've opened thus far is well made, well constructed. Um, well, you know, I don't feel that I spent all this money for nothing, right? Uh, especially, you know, you, you buy these things, it was on, you know, Black Friday sale. So really, really, really nice prices for everything. Get your little Busby sticker. Looks like you got um, a manual. Holy crap. Really, really nice, really nice marketing materials from Busby. That cannot be cheap to put that out of each one of these. Well, none of it was cheap. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's probably worth it. Yeah, grease to go on these zippers because Lord knows they can be tough to open and close. But what I'll do is put all these back in right now but before we go i wanted to see just how those magnum crankbaits that i had earlier will fit since they didn't fit in my shallow crankbait coffin i wanted to see if that will fit here so first up we have the movement adx it's a shallow but it's much much larger than your typical uh shallow square wheel crankbaits more like almost like a weight bait man right subsurface probably zero to one feet let's see one to three feet, I'm sorry. One to three feet. Look at how gorgeous that lure is. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll put it right in something like that. Now I know this guy's not gonna fit this freaking Mag Cloud 9 C20. Uh, I just want, for, for grins and giggles, I wanna see if I can, whoa, if I can stuff that gigantic thing in one of these standard boxes. Wow, I did fit. It fit this one. Wow, look at that. Man, I'm scared of this one. Looks like it's got a little crack in it. Oh no, that's just the casting. There we go. So wow, it actually it actually did fit and it fit quite well. So I say if you if you wanted to 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 have one of these boxes, let me show you that. If you have one of these boxes and have kind of like you know one or two of these big gigantic deep diving crane baits in here you could actually do it so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it right there i just want to see if, if that will fit and it looks like it will fit oh wow i'm just gonna leave it just like it is so there you have it guys um that is the busby all of my accessories uh, terminal tackle box i'm going to shift all of this to the side because speaking of terminal tackle i wanted to buy I wanted to buy more of the one by ones or the two by ones or whatever, whatever it's called. I think these are it. Yes, these are it. Right, I wanted to turn one of these. Now, I think Busby, and I think I bought it, it's probably in this next box. I think they actually have one that's dedicated. Matter of fact, they do have one that's dedicated, all one by ones. So, one by ones are the smaller smaller containers so I, want, I bought a couple of those because I wanted to tailor my these tackle boxes uh, how I was going to go fight and fish with them so let's continue to open up different things I have no clue what this is um, but I think it came or was buying it with the Busby oh I know what these are these are straps for my boat cover 
We don't need those, but what we do need, this is Tap Direct. Let's take a quick pause and see what's coming out of this. See, all this came at the same time, so I'm trying to figure out what, what exactly I bought. I know it's all about, I, mean, it, I could be wrong. Yeah, it is, all Busby. So more Busby, this is the one by two. So I have two one by ones, two uh, one by two, so I can continue the customization process with Busby. And last but not least, this, I think this is my terminal taco box uh, from Busby. I'm gonna make sure I open this one before we close out for the day. Again, today I just wanted to show you uh, the bait chambers from Six Sense, show you how they fit, and I also wanted to do an unboxing to show you how this Busby stuff looks up front and close and personal. All right, so more Busby stuff. Close that so I don't cut myself. Another one of those magnificent spring 2024 uh, bins. And I probably could look through this and see what's what's coming up. All right. I think these are all my raw sleeves. Yep, a bunch of raw sleeves. And then I got a, another small, all small, Colony 15 modular chocolate box. This is really what I want to get out of here. This guy right here. And we'll, we'll break up one of those raw sleeves in a second. All right, this is the one that I wanted to show you guys. So it has all smalls. I think these might even be smaller than the one by one. Maybe not. Maybe they're the same same stuff. Whoa! <laughs> they're all they're all stuck together. So let me get my let me get my Lego get my Lego on and plug these guys back into the uh, back into the honeycomb. All right. So we got all the honeycombs in. Oop, got two out still. All right, here we are. All right, so here are the honeycombs. Uh, terminal tackles probably not going to get probably not going to be able to get all of the terminal tackle in here the way I want it, but I think I think this will serve me well because you're not you're not going to you're not going to be able to fit the uh the space. you're not going to be able to fit fit your large EWG hooks in here. You're going to have to you have to use something like the one by two to get to get those in here the way you would want those. But who knows? Uh, I may not even go this route for my terminal tackle. I may do this for the kayak, and then when I get the boat, I may use um, this for the boat. We'll see. Again, I wanted to buy them because I'm, I'm not sure yet how I'm going to flex to do it. The one thing I did not like about, well, I guess it would be the same for this one. Um, the one thing I did not like about the Edge, the Plano Edge Flex Terminal Tackle is when you open it, you could dump things out. But they do have, let's see if I can pull one of these out. You know what you could do, Busby, if you're listening, you could actually make a lid for these. I don't know if it's a lid down here or whatever the case may be, but the Plano Edge has one, so you can grab the little grab the little box out and it won't all your tackle won't drop out like it will like it will for these. Can you imagine? You, you, you open this up, you're on your boat, and then something bump, everything's gonna fall out. So you def, you definitely run that risk. There's other, there's other, I do have some more um that i'm going to show you guys i think it's made by bass mafia uh we'll, we'll do those on uh, an unboxing one day on those as well so anyway that's that's the the 15t colony t uh smaller much well larger than the 8t but between these two boxes uh that's going to be my terminal tackle um as as of now we'll ride like that for the next season and see how that works so last but not least i wanted to show you these spinning and uh casting rod covers let's go with the casting first uh and these are the rod covers and i'll break out a break out a, a crankbait here to show you what people are renting and raving about there's a reason why i went with the busby uh over say there's a couple of them that even 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 the sixth has some i may end up buying some just for gp uh, from the six but what i do like about busby that i did not see others have was this right here so this this loop is on the opposite end so if you had your rod in here right if you had your rod in here and you wanted to hang it on the wall boom you can hang it on the wall and let your rod hang you can't do that with the other ones because they don't have that so keep in mind when you buy these these, these rod these rod covers um, there are some pluses and minuses with each company. Everybody makes sure it's different. Um, between um, Busby, 
and the sixth plus we had theirs on sale i think the six just sent there put those on sale this week if had not been for this sale i probably wouldn't have bought them i would have bought the six but when i saw this man i was like oh that's a game changer so yep so yeah ouch god darn it so not supposed to be able to with any kind of um with well well with let me say this with a large amount of pressure you could put a hook through this right uh, but just just bouncing around you're not going to get a hook stuck into your rod cover so this is casting uh spinning it's a lot wider because you know spinning has those those large eyelets and you want to be able to get the rod cover over those large eyelets all right so that's how this looks man i really like this material oh my gosh i mean this is just it's like a tire oh my gosh this is just really 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 unique material uh, so man whoo you know you're doing a lot when your camera overheated so let's summarize so we've gone through the bait chambers from the six we've actually gone through the busby uh, full on full on colony suite i bought the big one 28t which is a 3500 series if you're looking at other, other uh, physical size boxes um and it comes with the bag so i can easily grab everything walk it out to the boat drop it in the boat i bought a couple terminal tackle boxes that i'm going to um, um and i'm going to organize to fit to suit my fishing requirements i also bought some some colony boxes for the bins, I got some one by ones and some one by two, so I can then, you know, change up a little bit. You know what I mean? Coordinate a little bit more. Coordinate a little bit more. So look for this spring. I'm gonna work on this all winter, uh, building out, building out my complement of stuff, and then I'm gonna run the Busby, the run the Busby basically all spring, um, all summer, and then I'm also going to have my six bait chambers. I'm gonna protect all my baits uh, with this, so I can relieve my tackle wall of some pressure of all of these clearance type baits that I have I feel like I'm missing something but when you have this much dog on tackle everywhere I'm like good lord man so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish drinking this I'm gonna fill up these these bait chambers from the six I'm gonna slide the busby over to the side for the and market winter project and we're gonna go again my name is Tim from Tim's Outdoors where I try to give the people what the people want try to show people how to get into this sport of fishing um, as easily and as economically as possible. This is probably the most money I've spent in quite some time. You guys know I hit all the sales, all the clearances, all the uh, all, all, all of the ways of, of, of spending the least amount of money and getting the biggest bang for your book. So again, thanks for watching. My name is Tim from Outdoors. We'll see you soon. All right, what is all this? Okay, let's do this. Man, y'all be having a better work.